This is the Doctor, continuing the Darkest Dungeon 2 playthrough. We are on the second expedition. After beating the first act and the first boss, it's time for us to find out what happens next. It was next. you who found the cipher, scribbled hastily in the decaying margins of some long-forgotten tome, scribbled in blood. Whether by providence or happenstance, we stumbled upon the mark of some strange power invoked the world over, reflected in cultures predating mankind itself. A semicircle radiating five points of power, a symbol hidden deep in the iconography of every ancient empire. The Iron Crown, enigmatic, and ubiquitous. How you must remember awesome the world was that? As it was, if you hope to save it. All right. From beating Act One, we have a gazillion meta progression currency to spend. A zillion candles. So let's see what we can do here. The recollection. This is just a list of all the stuff we've unlocked, right? Yep, literally all the stuff we've unlocked. So far, not very much, but let's let's see what else we can unlock. Intrepid coast. Wisdom will help you choose a path. Resourcefulness will ensure you survive it. Could get a pet. I almost feel like I have to, right? Unlock at least one pet, right? This. Inferno Flame. Whoa, what is this? The corpse slide. These are modifiers to the game. Is this just to make the game harder, right? Wow. That's interesting. Why lock the hard mode between, like, with meta progression? I mean, I'm not doing that yet. Let's speed through the game first and then do the hard mode. Huh. I, I haven't quite figured this out yet, but okay. I almost feel like I have to unlock the first pet, right? It's just, I mean, I have to. A little critter to keep us company. Resourceful, a little more resources. Res plus one stagecoat armor points. Eh, okay, let's see what else we got. This is the trinkets and combat items, living cities. Ah, this is the characters, right. Living city, you can improve heroes, intrepid coast. Yeah, yeah, uh, overall buffs, okay. Um, I feel like we should unlock at least one hero. Uh, the Hellion. I think that seems fitting. Hellion. Oh, that's all you say, Wayne? Hellion? <laughs> and then I am going to unlock... Oh, <gasps> Sergeant Pav. Yes, I have to do that, right? A little more light, a little more strength. Or a ball work to be a taunt. No, let's do sergeant. Minus damage, but I will give allies massive resistances. Hmm. Not actually what I want. Ball work. Um, crush and repose is a little worse. But shield attack skills are better. Why don't we try the sergeant first? And then we could bring... I could be in the second rank tanking. And let's do a basic path on our Hellion. Don't think I want to get the new path. Let's unlock some of these uh, special trinkets. So who am I bringing? I think I'm gonna bring myself. We'll of course play with the new hero. Surgeon. 
quite interesting. Not as good as blighting, but I could up close stab people. Uh, Grave Robber Deadeye. Improves damage and crit range skills at the expense of melee. But I might not want to bring you. I could unlock another hero, but I don't know that I want, um, like, I would bring, of course, a healer, maybe an occultist or a divesto. But let's, let's stick with, um, some of the returning characters, huh? I think we'll sit the Grave Robber out. But I want the Surgeon, so I would do Hellion rank 1, myself rank 2, you being rank 3. That makes the High Women very awkward. Whereas the Grave Robber can't do the pick to the face, but would still basically be as good. So maybe we bring the Grave Robber. Hmm. I do know what the second boss is though. Uh, so I am a little spoiled on that. I can fight from the third position. Rogue really doesn't make sense. Not with the Hellion. I also don't have point blank shot. Ooh, Rat Skull, that's a good unlock. So I could do, yeah, let's unlock the Rat Skull. The splendor of a world. Annotated textbook. Those who live within it. Maybe we'll do Surgeon, but probably not. Okay, do I unlock anything else? Standard of the Ninth is also very strong. Let's, let's get myself this fancy trinket. Okay, so, working fields. Let's start unlocking some of this other stuff here. Um, trinkets. A Strange sapper. The science of survival. Silent treatment. Huh. Buff to stealth. Interesting. New Growing instruments tent. will help us diagnose the world's affliction. This is for the and leopard, basically. Not good on our comp. A drop of sanity. Mortal ward. In hmm. a sea of madness. Very powerful if you enter death's door, but you don't want to be there usually. Okay, let's get some combat items. Every smelling salts. Recollection is another That's nice. At our disposal. Neutralizing powders. Okay, blight resist. Great invigorating toxicant. Okay. Maybe one more. Combat item for everyone. Ooh, I love this thing. The thunder clamp grenade. Alright, we'll get a stagecoach item. A sprawl almanac. More damage than sprawl. Uh, sprawl, that's good. Let me upgrade the stagecoach to get plus one stagecoach item These slot. Wheels are invested with noble purpose. Seems Every very good. Location. Blessed rest for the warriors of our cause. And let's get a lot of in items. In items are perhaps the most critical. Especially, I need better food. Whiskey bottle, nice. Better than the whiskey flask, usually. Stale bread, hey, that's a type of food. Take that. Better than the slime mode. Leeches, remove disease, that is nice. I want to keep going on the in items. Eat bag. Willing tools, that's pretty useless. Okay, one more in item. Restorative herbs, that's nice. Okay, I think that's good. Um, let's get one more stagecoach item since I have the space for it. Steel plating. Well, that's useful. Study the Maybe a little more resourcefulness. Find any advantage. Because I want to be able to scout the hero shrines. That seems very important to me. Increased chance candles appear. Yeah. Hail the vessel of your deliverance. Ugh, more stagecoach item slots all the way down there. Uh, memories is like uh, buffing your heroes. We're not going to do that early on. Look to those who have known fear and failure in ample portion. Let's uh, upgrade the Hellion a bit to get her indelible trinket. A little more light. A little more strength. 
Do I want surgeon? Nah. To recall a thing. Let's um. Let's get more trinkets. Once more. Cleansing class. That's very interesting. A ball balls in inventory greater than 25 remove one negative token. That could be very strong. Tender box. Dark impulse. Ooh, this is quite solid as on a healer. Okay. Maybe I spend the rest of the resources on something else. Just reinforce our stagecoach, yeah. That seems smart. Okay. I think I don't want to unlock all the, lines will carry the day. all the items too soon, since as you unlock them, you get them added to your inventory, which is just good. Timeless woods, yeah. This is a memory. This is like um, buffs to your heroes for higher difficulties, which I'm not gonna worry about right now. All right, Once I think that's good. Into the maelstrom. In search of what hope yet remains. Choosing confession. Which confession you choose to determine which final boss you must face. It also changes how long the expedition is, which buffs, uh, which buffs enemies can get via ordainment, flame effects, and more. Huh. Does it actually Your explain it? Probably not. Drift in this bituminous nightmare. Act two. Left unsurfaced, grievances gain a terrible strength. Trophies mountains. On the denial confession, you do not require a trophy to enter a mountain. But for all other confessions, you must collect at least one trophy by defeating a region boss. Yep. So we have to beat at least one of the region bosses. Um, if we want to face the final boss. Your vociferous calls to bring our findings before the faculty were dangerously premature. Given the gaps in our understanding, doing so would risk ridicule, or worse, robbery. I took no pleasure in asserting my seniority. Stifling your protestations with a strict mandate of absolute secrecy. You acquiesced, but your plaintive susurrations betrayed a burgeoning resentment. The crossroads. Who will step forward into the light? Indeed. Uh, hero paths. Yep, each hero has multiple paths, which are specializations. Uh, yep. So. Beneath bloodlust and fury, there is emptiness and shame. The Hellion, front rank, high damage, bleed and bloodlust. So, Wicked Hack, Iron Swan, Barbaric Yop, uh, If It Bleeds, and Toe to Toe. That's a taunt. Generally good stuff here. What? Gaunt Hater. Hey, that's not bad. Pillager Fearing. But your... Your... Uh, your story, or which a hero goes to kill pillagers. I'm back. This time I'm gonna be a sergeant. Listen up, you lots. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Okay. Um, what are my quirks? Daver Slayer, Winded. Eh, that doesn't seem so bad. I want to visit the Hoarder again. I seem obsessed with that Hoarder. Hunted. Harried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the past. Alright, our highwayman's a swine hater, which is great, but a flawed release? Ugh, that's terrible. You want to crit. Um, I'm gonna have to try to get rid of that. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. Fetter scrounger and cadaver fearing a uh, plague doctor. Uh, cadavers, I think, are the enemies in the tango. Uh, Fetter scrounger. Uh, Fetter is another region. We haven't seen that yet. Okay, I feel like I need to rename these characters. 
So... Uh, but I don't want random names. I'm going to name them after some of my viewers. Alright, welcome Mortimer, our Plague Doctor. Night War, you're the Highwayman. And YC Loon, you're our Hellion. Well, let's get this started. Okay, before we continue, let's um, equip everybody with all these items. Alright, so... I'm at items. I don't think this part matters. The trinkets, though, might matter. Um, Tinderbox. If flammable item is equipped, do I have any flammable items? You can tell, like right here, Thunderclap Grenade. Uh, Thunderclap Grenade. It says it's a combat item. And it's a contraption. I don't... And trinkets can also have types. I don't see any... I don't see anything appropriate. All right, plus 20% healing given. I'll give that to Mortimer. Do not think we will ever use this cruel intent. Um, we need a stained item. This is a stained item. Okay. Round start, 66% stealth. If stealth plus 50% crit. If no stealth plus 50% damage taken. Seems pretty risky. Uh, maybe we do something else. Okay, Strange Sapper on Night Warg. Um, ooh, it's a... Oh, but these can... Okay, I'm gonna dish this crew intent. I'm never gonna use it. Uh, Clinton class here. Tinderbox, sure, why not? Mortal Ward can go here, sure. On YC Lean. I don't think that matters. Um, although, anyone's gonna be tanking, it's gonna be me. And then Silent Treatment. Ew, this is interesting. If Stealth plus 50% crit, no Stealth plus 50% damage taken. But if I'm all the way in the back, surely I don't take that much damage, right, Mortimer? Right? And critting on you is good. Oh, um. Are exhausted. Ahead, only trial. I need to redo my skills. Okay, minus twenty percent damage overall. Uh, so I'm thinking we want Retribution. Maybe a bit of the old... Bellow. And Rampart to help me reposition. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Two, two of these uh, gaunts. Do I have any hero goes to kill gaunts? Yes, Mortimer has one. The odds of killing are so low there. Two to three, right? Good work. Oh. Little chomp there. Did the chomps, can they give disease? Yeah, yeah, that's real bad. Uh, Mortimer. Well, that might have been a kill, but it's fine. Mortimer will find another gaunt to kill. That's gonna happen at some point in this, this run. Weighty gloom, a spark. That's what I expected. Two mastery points. So this is what it was like during early access. The first shaken? fight always gave you two there mastery so points. Worse in store. Oh, there's another barricade. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill that other gaunt sooner than expect. 
Oh, no, we already did it. Okay, this is exactly like early access then. Four regions. This is all what is expected. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. Okay, we've got two mastery points. Yep. What can we buy? Fair, but fairly priced. Another griddle, not that we can afford it. That thing did not pay off. Ooh, look at that. Greater hail draw. That would be nice. Bunch of real food. We do not need the radiant flame. <gasps> I have to get this right. Your coach must little be orphan wolf club to carry you where you must go. Once equipped, this cannot be removed during this expedition. Yes, of course. W why would I not always want to equip this, right? Plus 5% stress resistance per luxury gear item equipped. I don't actually know what that means. But plus 10% positive relationship chance. That's just like objectively good. Huh, okay, well, let's see the what are our options. The of our land. Crumbling and undone. Okay, two new regions. Um, we could go to the Shroud. Academic caches, location scouting. Avoid the Hoarder. I don't really care about Shroud. I don't feel ready to fight the boss in this first region with this group. Uh, but that's fine. The Fetter. Uh, that boss... In the early access wasn't too tough. Uh, I mean, I buffed it, of course. We have an item that buffs our um, advantage in the sprawl, but we don't have that as an option. One learns quickly. Okay, we can buy some empty. glimmers of hope to make sure our light is high. I kind of want to go to the fetter. I think that's although the devious plans is not great, but. I think, well, I also do like the Candles of Hope, but I think I would rather have the Mastery Point to try to, well, we're going to get a gazillion candles eventually. Mastery Point will help us get deeper into run and get more candles that way, so. The farms and fields of our kingdom overrun with and We'll get some glimmers to keep the flame up by two food. Uh, we have some whiskey flask, which I might use. This ceremonial drum would be an interesting item to equip for the uh, boss in the shroud, but do not feel ready to fight that thing with this particular group. Alright, no reason not to equip these two items. Good. An improvement. Uh, entering region plus one. Um armor so there's no reason not to get that bonus ablative powders should consider um oh wait there was a specific hero go to use glimmers who is it uh night war you want to use glimmers Armory repair kit, plus one block, plus token, speed bag. Uh, let's use up the food first. I'm considering saving a lot of these resources just because like they don't do anything for me right now. Let's use the whiskey bottle, try to get some um, relationships going. I want to drink, of course, with... Uh, you know, why see Loon? Ooh, that was not great. Apparently we hate drinking together. All right, we're gonna fix that with some whiskey flasks. Is there anything else I actually want? No, I think I just want all the whiskey flasks. The rigors of the road. Fetter has a lot of blight, but I think we'll be fine. Let's just keep drinking. Fix ourselves up, get totally smashed 
There we go. I miss confiscating these from the conscripts. Uh, how incredible is that? Okay. Mastery. If we do fight the boss, which I am not keen to do, what would help? Ulster is always good to keep that stress under control. And Retribution, um, I mean, if we're going to fight the boss, so Retribution isn't the best. We want to do damage. A lot of Blight. I'm going to do some combos and then Wicked Hack to, like, really lay the damage. How else can I apply combo? Okay. I think uh, I may not. I'm probably not going to fight the boss. Let's be real. Ulster is just good for the stress healing. Um, can't really go wrong with that. If it bleeds, I want something that applies combo. Iron Swan would apply combo if I upgraded it, but only on the very, very back enemy. Upgrading take aim is always pretty solid. Two crits is very strong. Upgrading Cracking Shot could be interesting, but Duelist Advance is always a very good upgrade, too. Get that dodge, lots of repost going, but I can repost with my Retribution. Always just Noxious Blast, but a lot of enemies resist Blight. Wicked Hack? I mean, it's... I just want the thing is, it's only good against one enemy. We can hack is just like a lot of. I mean, there are ways for me to apply the um, combos. Pistol shots like also very strong, but you know what? Let's go with wicked hack. Let's do it on YC Loon. Is this the best choice? I don't know, but it is what it is. Okay, it wants me to repair, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save my. Things. I don't want any of this stuff. Iron Brazier. Minus 33% traveling flame drain. Oh, that's interesting. But I think I want something a little better than that. Okay, we're going to save. We're going to save our resources. Um, select route. Let's do it. All right. There we go. You can still afford, afford more stagecoach repairs. Yes, I know that. Don't need to do that. No relationships. Look at this beautiful screen. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Okay, let's see. I want to go to the Hero Shrine without question. And then I can't even fight the boss if I do that. Unfortunately, the Watchtower is not going to do anything for us. Because I will literally... Like, if I go left here, all I can do is keep going left. There is a creature den up ahead. Those are fun fights. Yeah, but like the the known hero shrine can't pass that up. Okay, so watchtower. That reduces our wheels. Oops, I meant to hit that. I just Everywhere. messed up the driving. In all directions. Destruction has claimed dominion. A watchtower reveals every location in this region. Yep. But it actually doesn't do anything for me here. So I would have rather this be something else, but gotta do the hero shrine. Ah, couldn't hit that. Ah, I'm really bad at running over this debris. That is what it is, man. The loathing whispers. A 
some medicinal herbs for healing. Okay, Shrine of Reflection. I have to keep going on my own story, right? I just, I feel like I have to. I knew what waited for me back there, but I had no rank and they deserved, a re uh, deserved rest. Chapter 4. Ghosts of the Past. Demoted and disgraced, he returned to the battlefield. Okay, I have to endure the wrath of his regiment and grant them some small peace. Okay, I have to honor the fallen. Um, and I have to kill all these vengeful spirits, the fallen comrades, or put them to rest, really. Um, let's see. Pour one out. Requires target vengeful spirit cooldown one. Target stun. Remove crit. And it combos them. Well, if I do this... And then rest in peace. There's a cooldown though. I should probably do it when they have a stun. So let's do a... Because you can actually lose these. Let's, let's just do a rest in peace here on the front. Let's see what they do. Ooh, high stress. I don't care about the slash, that doesn't really do anything. Okay, I have to use the poor one out now. Oh, I can't honor the dead. Alright, let's go for a kill. Oh, okay, then, then I can use the combo here. Am I gonna lose right away? Okay, no, no, honor of dead, we have to do that to get my stress down, okay. Okay, we have to pour one out here. Don't do a whale. Okay. Maybe the game is being kind on me. Alright, that thing was done. And then we will rest in peace. So that I can um, do the anger of the fallen. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Just don't do whale. Okay. Crit. But I have to honor the dead to get my stress down. And then one out and I'll get crit once but it's fine Ooh, rest in peace there oh it's only three stress again okay let's just um, finish this All right, pour one out and then rest in peace all these spirits are gone I honored the fallen. At last, he would sleep undisturbed, and perhaps find some comfort in that murky abyss of dreamless wonder. In a mastery point and a new skill, courageous abandon. Probably not going to use that this run, but could use it in the future. Not so concerned if I fail this expedition. I kind of want to fail. Um. Certainly not like doing a optimal min max thing in terms of the skills, but I just have to finish my story, right? I have to. All right, a creature then. Um, Bellow is very good here. Uh, we got the retribution, and I might actually want Defender over Rampart. Oh, but Rampart can help us reposition. Retribution, very good. I think I'll be okay without Defender. Um, if Bobo's in inventory greater than 25, remove one negative token. Okay, 
Don't do that on myself because taunts are negative tokens. So let's give this to Night Warg. Honestly, I, I can't I can't justify using this silent treatment. I happen to know these fights, they can target it back. Way too dangerous. I'm not even sure I should be equipping this other dark impulse because I might need to heal myself. Uh, neutralizing powders is good. Thunderclap grenade is good here, and smelling cells, these are all good. Okay. I can't shuffle any other skills around. The question is, do I take Defender? And the answer is, I don't think so. I mean, we're obviously fighting this. Um, I can gain two block tokens if I do it. But I would be upset with um, Night Warg. Which is fine. Two block tokens seem really good. YC Loon likes it. Alright. Ooh, Web. That's a stun. Did I give the smelling salts to... Oh! That is irritating. YC Loon has the one item that counters that. Okay. Creature Dens. Beasts make their refuge in creature dens throughout the corrupted regions. They put up a fierce defense, but rare animal parts fetch attractive rewards from innkeepers desperate for delicacies and weird ingredients. Uh, I should be buffing everybody's resistances, but I won't be buffing my own resistances. So, neutralizing powder in here. Crisis, we can rely only upon Let's do a other. blinding gas to try to clear some tokens, or uh, sometimes you just get lucky and land works okay let's do maybe not the glimmer hope not yet Ooh, infectious enemies i don't like that i'm gonna bellow Tracking shot, if I upgraded it, would prevent their dodge. But Bellow will clear all of this nonsense. And we could get the Carrion Eater first, since it has a way of um, consuming corpses. Question is, do I Duelist Advance or Wicked Slice? These enemies do have a tendency to... Yeah, let's, let's do a Wicked Slice. Try to focus that thing down. These enemies do have a tendency. Ah. I guess that would have worked. It. Ooh, we got a disease. I was like, they have a tendency to hit. And then um, I could repost into them. Probably should have reposted. The oozes. Turn start. Two blight. That's not great. All right. So the reason why I love Bellow so much is in a situation like this, it clears all these tokens. And debuffs speed a little, which is not useless. Right, smelling salt's not gonna do anything. Let's just hack away at this carry-on crawler thing. Ugh, getting a little... Where are my, like, buffs? Why didn't I... Sergeant, each ally on turn start, plus 50%... Oh, it's a 20% chance to give that massive buff. Okay. Well, that's, that's not so impressive then. Duelist Advance, I have 0% crit, so it can't kill it. Wicked Slice, go for the kill. Well done. Night War, well done. Ounce of Prevention is actually pretty good here. These things disease Empowered. and do nasty like DOTs. Collaboration confers advantage. Let's do a taunt on me. Yes, resist. Well, I got blinded, but that's okay. I do another blinding gas. Um. Both missed. Uh, 
Okay, we can iron swan this spider in the back. Go for some pistol shots to finish it off. Really, one damage away from killing. Um, Bellow's not gonna do much here. Rampart, Crush, Bolster. I only care about the dog. Let's get, the spider is a lot more dangerous than the dog. I have only the one target here. Noxious Blast, good hit. Killing kill Night Ward. I could taunt with a YC Loon. Not that crazy. But we can also just go for a kill. A well done. Response. Well done, YC Loon. And this is a good time for a Retribution taunt. I need a heal here. Let's advance, get that repost going, and the enemies immediately spawning. That's okay. I'm kind of prepared for this. Wicked Hack's not gonna do anything. Barbaric Yop would weaken these, but I don't know that I care. Good taunt because I'm gonna clear this stuff with a bellow hmm. I'm gonna do go for the iron swan perhaps clear some tokens because I really want to do this heal and let's do a neutralizing powder In crisis on me again only upon each other Empowered. Ooh, Empowered. we can shuffle these spiders. That seems good. Do a thunderclap grenade. And we stun one. I love it. This is making me feel the bellows not as good. Let's get myself back into position. And we can tracking shot to get rid of this and add a combo token and a vulnerable token very nice okay got some weakness and vulnerability problems but a bolster will fix that well bolster on the sergeant does remove my own problems that seems good Start killing these spiders up front. Alright, one spider is gonna die. Do I wanna taunt here? I don't think I actually wanna taunt. want a barbaric job that's like the least good option these carry-on eaters will eat the corpses and become stronger I know this one's got a combo on it but we can't actually take advantage of it thinking we just wicked hack the thing in the front not too much else we can do Sixty percent blight resist. So bad. Ounce of prevention. Collaboration okay. confers advantage. That's pistol shot. That was not as impress on the spider. That was not as impressive. I had hoped. The retribution. Pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to kill. Yep, they eat and become stronger. Ooh, with a crit? 
That's nasty. Alright, good resist. Good slice, should kill that thing. Alright, spider down. Straightforward. And effective. Too bad we can't clear the other corpse. Um I mean we can try to blind this. I'm not seeing a better move here. Nope. 10% debuff resist too. That was a very good chance to blind. Hmm. I can heal myself a little bit. Not seeing again a better move. Ugh. 11 damage crit. I'm gonna have to heal that. Yeah, these these uh these battles are tough. These creature didn't battles. Ooh, vulnerable token. That is fantastic. Okay, I do have to heal away this bleed. And that was a really good result between Night Ward and um, Mortimer. Rampart go. Yes, good kill. I am good at that. I don't have any skills to clear the corpses, unfortunately. Get hacked because I don't have anything better to do. Alright, I have one last heal. Probably gonna use that myself, but not yet. Go for a crit combo. Things dazed. By retribution. Or let it hit something else. Probably better off letting it hit something else. Ooh. Oh, good miss. Okay. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. As far as I know, having a fight drag out doesn't actually like make things worse. Like you don't actually get exhausted, but that would be an interesting mechanic, wouldn't it? Maybe it happens later on. We get slice. Excellent work. Good. In crisis, we can rely only upon each mm, other. I just want to kill that thing. I can't have it eating a corpse and heal. Or I could kill this corpse, and then I can sneaking a heal. You know what? Worth it. Yeah, that was only measure out your violence. That was definitely worth it. Judiciously. Tough battles, these creature dens. An unexpected find. But we got a peculiar secretion, which would remove all our diseases, which is great because we got a disease. And two the mastery points. That is that's phenomenally good. Alright, we're gonna get some loathing, but it is what it is. Definitely gonna have to use some uh, flame in the next, uh, the glimmer of hope in the next part, because as we get these, the loathing whispers, uh, loathing, it's gonna cause our flame to drain faster. Voracious and decadent, the landowners and peasants alike descended into an orgy of consumption. Uh, do I keep Bellow? Probably. I don't know that I want to change any of these uh, skills. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust these trinkets, man. They seem too dangerous. Uh, but I will equip the healing Dark Impulse because I know those spiders uh, are very good at targeting the back rank. I think these enemies are not as good at targeting the back ranks. 
Ugh. Well, I don't want to run, but if I were to do the fight, we're not happy. We're not happy about doing the fight. Night Warg would be very unhappy with me. If I run, I lose flame, which is bad. I don't want that. And plus stress? That's actually not so bad. Do not want to lose my relics either. If one of these were running away with no consequences, I would probably actually do it. But and we have uh, three mastery points from this region. Um, I mean, we have two already. We have an item that will give two. And then we're going to get, like, we're going to get a zillion mastery points. We don't need to do this fight for the mastery. But I don't want to lose my relics. And I do not want to lose the flame. So looks like we are fighting this at the cost of affinity. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Okay, let's use the glimmers. And make sure to keep that light high. Uh, we'll kill the lady first. I mean, the livestock first. And maybe mm, we're not going to be able to kill it right away. We'll do a duelist advance here. These things are all very resistant to blight. So it's prevention. Yeah, it's going to feed. And give itself some nasty abilities. Okay, this is fine dragging me up. You want to try to kill this livestock rampart that's not gonna do it retribution nice counter-attack kill to the next sickly sweet what does that do gives me a taunt token that's great a little heal Okay. I'm gonna try to kill this lady next. Nice. Big damage. If I hit the lady right now, it will unfortunately um, heal itself. Might do that by eating the corpse, but I can't do anything about that. Go toe to toe to get myself back into the correct position. Hmm. I could bleed. But it's still going to be on one hit point. I bleed the thing in the back. This thing is going to heal. Really don't like this. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Don't have any counterattacks. If I toe to toe, it will heal. But if it does its what mother's embrace, I'll counterattack it, bring it back down to death's door. That seems best. And it's weakened, so. Ugh. Uh, that's not good. Corpulent enables a powerful skill. Wow, this game is a lot harder than I remembered. Okay, let's knock it back. Regurgitate, what is that? Probably. Oh, it can cause corpses to spawn. That's no good. Well,. Two to three damage, and there is a small chance I can like blight it. It's not, it's not impossible. I can't let it just keep eating. Yep, didn't work, but not necessarily unexpected. Okay, it will heal. Maybe I should be attacking the corpse cart in the back. Ugh. Okay, we have to we have to try to finish this thing off. Um, I do have a a night warg. The wicked slice is ignores a good chunk of death door resistance. 
Okay. Wow, this is not going well. Oh, that thing also now has a powerful skill. Fantastic. No ability to clear corpses is, uh, is not, it's not going well. I'm gonna try to blind the thing. So maybe take aim for the dodge for the upcoming like attack. Okay, let's get rid of some of this nonsense. Try to blind it. Okay, that's something. Not quite time for a bolster yet. Just a basic crush, a little crit. A little stress heal, that's good. Oh, blind coming in clutch. Get rid of the other problems plaguing us. A heal on Night Warg. Maybe we get rid of this corpse so it can't do any more shenanigans. Can't have it eating again. Collaboration confers advantage. Get slice, crit, good. And it's vulnerable. Okay, regurgitate's not great, but we can deal with that. Another wicked slice. Really? I, I can't afford a stress heal. We need to try to kill this thing off. Okay. That was harder than I thought. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Ooh, got a corrupting cleaver plus 25% blight piercing. That's really good. The loathing of On our plague doctor Mortimer. So I'll equip that. Okay, we have a road battle coming up. Those tend to be easier, so it could be a chance to Lord, heal and recover a desperate. little. They need your help. Lots of these are uh, gaunts. Oh. Observe the subject carefully. And you will discover its weaknesses. This thing is going to use a haunting melody. Nothing I could really do about that. I could tracking shot to remove the stealth, but I don't actually think that's great. Let's try to kill this. This thing in the front. These lostos have a little more. Oh, they're elite enemies. I was like, they seem to have more health. Okay. That will help. Steady yourself. Lots of stress. That's in a way kind of to be expected. I'm trying to blinding gas, but I also want to try to. Mm, you know what? Let's go for it. Fifty percent chance. There Need a bolster. Company. Get some of that stress down. This one's going first, but I could slice the other gone. I'm able to kill it. Oh, so much for the blind. Good crit. Oh, that was so beautiful. YC Loon, that was professional crit right there. Rarely in these times. Another awesome crit from Mortimer. All right, Mortimer needs to kill Gaunts, right? Yeah, but we should be able to do that pretty easily now. Skulking step. It's okay. Let's 
actually, I think we have to target this one in the front. Gonna try to sneaking another heal. Ooh, gotta heal me because I get upset if we healed it, um, Night Ward here. A master stroke. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure we can find another fight to, uh. Ooh, there's nothing I can do here. Sure, we can get another fight to get that last kill on uh, Mortimer. I only have one option, tracking shot here. I wonder, um, what's the incision range? Oh. Oh, I know what to do. If I kill this corpse, I am risking letting it go first. Uh, yeah, let's let's not let it crit and up our stress. I'm sure we'll find another chance to get Mortimer his kill. And effective. A good fight. Covered a decent amount of health and stress. Okay, an assistance encounter. I really want more flame. Everybody's upset at one another. Wow. Okay, well, I want more flames and combat items. So, why is he loon? Scavenge what you can and be off once more. Everybody hates one another. Fantastic. Why wouldn't we hate each other? Supplies this way, if you can make it. All right, infectious enemies, but that doesn't matter. There's some reflection. There's a stress attack, but that's okay. Song of Shadow can miss like that. Okay. No. Well done, YC Loon. Another beautiful crit. I wonder if this thing dies to Blight, does it count as a kill for Night Warg? Or not Night Warg, um, for Mortimer. Yes, it counts. Okay. So DOTs will count as a kill. Good to know. Yes. I have no good way of cleaning corpses right now, which really sucks. Okay, definitely de stress. Right, this thing is dead. Wait, those who dare. Yes, there are much greater threats than the puny enemies I've fought so far. But Mortimer's hero go is complete. Alright, what's the next region? A cache. Why well, see Loon thinks the rest of us are cowards. That's that's fantastic. My wealth and possessions bundled into this meager pile. Ooh, price of pride, indelible trinket, man at arms, gain when hit, 33% chance of a block plus token, apply on attack, bellow, 10% chance of stun, wow, that's pretty good. I am equipping that right away. Why is it an eyeball? I don't quite understand why this means the price of pride. But, uh, thinking 
Who would actually, who else would actually die? Eh, maybe YC Loon. I should have a hard time dying now. Wind chimes. This is really good. Random hero after each location. Minus one stress. That's going to be very, very clutch. Got a lot of combat items. In fact, some of these items I don't even really want to use. Uh, but, okay. We're going to go to the... Oh, another road battle. So many of these. More gaunts. for some kills. Alright, one of them in the front is dead. Do all this advance. My... Stress me out. It's okay. Emboldened. We will. I could retribution to force all the stress on me, but that seems risky. Mm, why say Loon should kill this thing? Three to six, five percent crit. I'm gonna take aim in case I get targeted. I'll at least have a chance to dodge. A petty hindrance. Okay, let's go for the blinding gas. Ah, resisted the blind. Ooh. Yep. Who knows what lurks in Gazillion the stress damage, but that's okay. I'm gonna work on getting rid of that with my bolster. That stack? Ooh, okay, we gotta finish this fight now. Let's go for a pistol shot. Lethality writ large. And then a iron swan. The work continues. Mm. Gotta get rid of these corpses. Finish this. Elementary. Well done. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Minor anchoring charm. Minus death store resistance, but we do pick up um, some stun resistance. I don't think a lot of enemies do stun here. Move resist. I have a gazillion move resist. Eh, don't know I even want to equip that. Okay. Oblivion's Rampart. This is uh, gonna be rough. Let's have both Thunderclap grenades equipped. We're almost certainly gonna use that. Hello, Retribution, Rampart, all this stuff. I don't think they do stealth. But... I don't think we're gonna need a Glimmer here, so might as well equip the Invigorating Intoxicant. Okay. Ooh, this thing, a hero. I hate those things. Do massive DOTs, but Iron Swan on this altar in the back. Seems a little too good to pass up. Take aim, honestly, is not terrible. I could dodge that attack and then crit the altar in the back.
He was pretty good. Oh no, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. I forgot these these uh, heralds have a special ability. Very annoying special ability. Oh, these things getting crit when they get attacked. Um, okay, let's use a thunderclap grenade. Shuffle them around. Mess them up. I like that. Knock you back to really cause trouble. Or we could just get rid of the block on the altar. You know. Arrow goes next. To blight this thing. Let's try to kill the Herald first. I don't like those. Disharmony. Ugh. Price of pride. Proking. Good. I have such stress problems. It's going to be hard to avoid a meltdown. Whoa. <laughs> what? What is this? What the hell is this? Strengthen crit? Uh uh pray pray How am I gonna target this altar? Because I didn't think about that. I'm gonna retribution on myself. Mortimer, there's no point in attacking the thing in the front. I get Barbaric Yop, which does debuff my own damage. I don't like that. Let's try to go for this uh, Evangelist in the back. I'm gonna get so stressed here. Dang. Blinding Gas is my best bet. Yeah, this is gonna suck. In the beyond. Okay, Harrow's down. That's good. Rush Judgment, another crit. Rules Advance. No, I need to try to kill that altar. Smelling Salts. I could add a dodge. Here, I think that's a good use. Okay, we have to bolster to just get that stress under control here. Okay, buffs itself with more crits and blocks, not that any of that matters. Um. Don't need ounce of prevention. As well, I'll start doing a little damage up front. Rush judgment is a weak attack. Uh, if you knock these evangelists to the back, they don't do as much. Oh, one hit point away from killing that altar. Almost. And of course, it's a good heal. Alright, Iron Swan, finish it off. Nope, still can't. Ugh. Of course it would focus on me. I'm almost certainly gonna have a meltdown. I could Thunderclap Grenade and hope to shuffle these two to the back. But then I would have a hard time doing damage to them. Hit this one in the front, try to kill it. Use another smelly salt, add that dodge, it could matter. Okay, good, good. Agony. 
by accumulation. Okay, that evangelist gets to go. Uh, I don't want to risk me getting hit again, so I'm going to do this advance up here. These evangelists only attack the front. Oh, it's at least got death's door. Uh, counter attack to kill it. Ooh. Okay, got a bolster. First advantage. A night ward. That will help. And then a good heal on me. Beautiful. One nice thing about the Hellion, as her damage, uh, as she has less health, she actually does more damage. This is a special thing. It's not even advertised, but the lower her hit points, the more damage she does because she wants death. She's got a death wish. Very thematic. Yeah, might as well go for the dodge on the take aim. Ooh, if I heal there, I'd be upset with myself. No, maybe we can kill this uh, evangelist. Let's try to knock it back. Okay, days. That that could do work. Well, damage crit. Very good. Okay, I still get upset by that. So, I'm gonna go for the kill. Three to six. Let's bolster. Get that stress down some more. It's a little risky, but... Let's, let's take some risks here, huh? It all worked out. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Oh, we got that wounding words again if we wanted to go crazy with that build. They have to. The loathing abates. It's actually really good on YC Loon. If I'm willing to like risk it, you know. Okay, we're at the inn. The familiar hearth crackles invitingly once again. Completed into the light. Gave the uh, gave the provisioner the peculiar secretion, removing our disease. Oh, this is called the cross swords. Um, plus five percent crit until the next end. That's nice. Five candles, the oozes goes away. Mortimer becomes a braggart. That's pretty terrible. Night work is shadowborn, huh? Flame less than fifty plus ten percent damage. Interesting. Combat star fifty percent chance of being stealth. I see loon. Also, ooh, we want to go with less flame, huh? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that could be the way to go. I have six mastery points. Very nice. Uh, and what are our options? The provinces and cantreds of our land. Crumbling and undone. I like the sprawl. We have uh, items to resist burn. I, I know it's kind of like fighting the librarian again, but that is, I think, legitimately our best bet here. And we can fight another boss in the third region anyway. Uh, I am going to call this Precious episode here. Us of a time before the Ooh, end. Shrine map. I think I got to get that right. Uh, let's see. Do I have any other ways to resist burn? Not really. Got some more whiskey flasks. Pipe weed. I think the librarian does do stuns, right? Got some burn selves. 
It's a little too good to not do the librarian, you know. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. As much as I would love the hero sh shrine scouting, it doesn't make sense. Um, you just don't have the space. This wind chime is going to be very, very valuable. We can remove the steel plating. Equip the wind chimes. Like, we need stress reduction. Uh, yeah. But okay, we will deal with the inventory management at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.